Coming up in just a moment, we're going to visit with Rick Smith. He is with the United Way Ross County. We'll talk about their telethon they've got coming up and the kickoff for their annual campaign. But first, this from Hometown Motors Incorporated. Husqvarna. Zero turns, lawn tractors, walk behinds, handhelds, and auto mowers. All at Hometown Motors Incorporated. Buy it here, get it serviced here. Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue, Chillicothe. Rick, thank you for joining us again. I know we last got together to talk about the 211 campaign. Uh, now it's time for the annual campaign, and you are starting off with a unique approach going telethon style. We are. You know, when you think telethon, you think, you know, the Jerry Lewis telethon and family fun and wholesome and just a good time. So that's what we're going for. We're, we're bringing together national acts and local acts and comedians, musicians, singers, acoustic players, um, just to have a good time, uh, raise money for Ross County and, and support the wonderful nonprofits we have in our community. Now the schematics of the Muscular District Telethon all those years, they had a live audience, but really it ranged out across the country and across the world, and that's what you're doing here. You won't have the audience per se, but you are reaching out to those that could not be there. Well, absolutely. Uh, a couple of things. Because we're streaming on Facebook Live, that really opens up to a, uh, an international audience, which is really neat. But our focus is Ross County, uh, helping Ross County and, and, and putting a message and putting uh, a good time out there for Ross County residents. So, uh, as you said, you know, unlike some of the other you know, events and telethons and things, we can't have people in attendance. Um, so we're really encouraging people to tune in on September 13th to their Facebook Live feed and, and make it a family family event. Uh, we're we're going to have some actually restaurants that will be streaming it that will allow out, outdoor seating. Um, so while we can't have people there, we'll certainly be able to broadcast out and give everyone an opportunity to view. You'll be using the oldest operating theater west of the Allegheny Mountains and uh, that, that just in itself says Chillicothe. I mean it is a place that has had a great deal of live theater acts for many many years and now it's time to turn those actions into dollars to help your, your organization. Right. I, I, I can't tell you how thrilled uh, we are to partner with the Majestic to, to do the telethon. Uh, we reached out to them yeah, and it was just like, gosh, wouldn't it be great if? So we reached out to, to the Majestic and, and thank goodness they said, you know what, we, we really appreciate what the United Way of Ross County does. We appreciate what it means for our county. Uh, we want to do what we can to help. So they, they agreed to partner with us and allow us to host the telethon there. Uh, and it's been a difficult time. It's difficult for many businesses. So as you know, they're, they're not able to operate as normal. Um, so for them to agree to do this was really huge. And just this goes to show you how much they support the, uh, the community as well. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the telethon in just a moment, but talk about uh, the agency and the number of nonprofits that you help throughout the year. Well, first off, let me start. The United Way is the largest nonprofit in the world. Uh, we have a humanitarian mission, really support, like, like our local uh, United Way chapter, support in the areas of health care, uh, education, and financial literacy. So typically around those things, now that's changed a little bit because of COVID, and we'll talk about that I'm sure in just a minute, but you know, typically that's our focus area. Um, so in uh, the United Way of Ross County has been in existence for almost 80 years uh, and really helping fulfill that mission, uh, fill that void in our community. So just here locally, there are you know, dozens of nonprofits that we support uh, through their various programs. And then we have internal programs that we do uh, as well, such as you know, Matt Bags and the Dolly Parton Imagination Line Library. So these are programs that we run internally that also benefit the community. So the telethon that we're doing uh, will really support all those efforts, not only the support of our local partners, but also support the programs that we provide the community as well. You mentioned COVID-19. That has presented a difficulty for all nonprofit organizations, along with those that are for profit. Everyone has been having to change how they do things and what their donations are. Right. Well, I guess the buzzword now is the new normal, whatever our new normal is. And it certainly has impacted uh, nonprofits, for profits, and everyone. For nonprofits, which is the space that we occupy uh, and, and the areas that we support, uh, we've not been able to get out to go out and do our regular fundraisers. Like many nonprofits, they do over the summer, they've got golf scrambles 
festivals and gala and tennis events and things of that nature, they're not able to do. Many of them have not been able to do those things because of COVID. They've had to cancel uh, some of the largest fundraising events, uh, especially when the time that we really started uh, being impacted in this country in our area back in February and March. That's a lot of times in the spring where people hold those type of events because it's not too hot yet and it's just the perfect weather. Um, but because of that, um, you know, but their mission, they, they still have their mission. They still have the things that they need to do to provide the community. So it's really presented a challenge. So really that's why we came up with the telethon concept because that's a way that we could still support the nonprofits in the community, um, still adhere to our social distancing and the, the new guidelines, the new normal that's in place because of COVID-19, but still raise money uh, for, uh, for us to be able to give back to the community. As part of the telethon, again, I know we'll talk more about that, but there'll, there'll be a silent auction where people have an opportunity to, to bid on some outstanding um, you know, auction items and, and take trips and things of that nature. So really, it's just going to be a lot of fun. As you have probably learned in your short time here so far, you will not be surprised how Ross County will come through. Uh, you've had businesses donate for the auction. Uh, you, you've had a community already coming together because this is a very giving community and they understand what you're going through. Absolutely. I mean, I can't, uh, can't tell you how happy I am to be in such a benevolent, caring community because the community really has stepped up and I know they'll continue to step up uh, to view and, and participate in the telethon. But we've had, you know, starting out with, we, we, as we were just talking about COVID, we had uh, individuals and corporations give money uh, for us to turn around and create grants that we're, that we're giving back out to the community, nonprofits and schools and, and some churches who are helping on the front lines of the COVID situation. So that, uh, so it started early. As you said, I've not been here a long time, but, but quickly I've seen uh, how caring the community is. So, uh, so throughout COVID and throughout the continuation of our other uh, uh, services and areas that we, that we support, you know, people continue to give and want to support the United Way so we can turn around and support those communities. Uh, as we're getting ready to launch our 2020-21 campaign, it's even more important than er ever that we have community support because, because as we were talking before, our inability to go out and fundraise in our traditional ways. Now the United Way, our, one of our traditional ways to fundraise is employee giving campaigns. Or many people are aware of this, a United Way representative will come into a company, will talk about you know, the things that the United Way offers and the things that we do to contribute to our society, and then employees choose to participate in payroll deduction. Uh, and that's how we get supported throughout the year. Well, uh, while we still are evolving and hope to be able to do some of that virtually, the traditional way of going out and doing those workplace giving campaigns just can't happen right now because of COVID. Uh, let's look now to the telethon itself. Uh, you've enlisted the assistance of, of Lori Graves and uh, she will provide plenty of entertainment. Uh, she could do the whole show herself, but uh, she has a number of contacts that have joined in. You've got music, you've got artists, many things going on. Right. You know, we, uh, as I was talking about the Majestic being so thrilled that they stepped up to the plate and said, come on, we'll, we'll host it. Uh, when we contacted Lori Graves, she said, yes, I will do this. We all just kind of did our happy dance because Lori is hilariously uh, funny. Uh, she's got great contacts. She's from the area. So she has a very, you know, she's very passionate about the mission of the United Way and the work that we do. So we're just thrilled that she's going to host us. And as you said, you stole the words out of my mouth. You know, we could sit back and watch Lori just perform for six hours, but she's invited all of her friends and, and folks that she's crossed paths with over the years and as I have. So we've got a great lineup, lineup of, of comedians, uh, acoustic players and musicians and singers. So outstanding, just a fun time. Six hours. Uh, it's, it's September 13th. That's a Sunday. So once you're done with church, just kind of tune in just about any time you want throughout the afternoon. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, we'll start out with a religious or a faith hour. So that first hour of the telethon will we'll, we'll feature some local churches, uh, actually some, some national singing uh, names and performers as well. So we'll have gospel music and, and faith music. And then we'll hear from some of our local pastors that's giving us some words of encouragement. So if you're not not able to tune in or, or, or attend your regular church service for our first hour, you, you'll have the benefit of having several different of our local pastors bringing messages and hearing from their choirs. And as I said, not only will we have the local musicians, but we'll have some national musicians mixed in there too. Sounds like it's going to be a great time. It's going to be a wonderful time. And, and you don't have to, I mean, it, it'll be virtual, so you can tune in and tune out, so you can come back and check and see. and. 
place bids. Mm -hmm. I imagine you'll be taking bids uh, throughout the whole broadcast. Absolutely. We'll be sending information out and certainly the day of the event it'll be very easy to sign up for our mobile bidding. But we've got this silent auction that will really be phenomenal. I'm excited about it. There's a few items that I've already had my eye on that I'd love to bid on. Uh, but basically it works very simply. You can actually go to your computer or go to your phone and put in a bid on the item. You'll be able to view the various items that are available. And I'm talking great things. Uh, things such as you know, we'll have some uh, some exotic trips to, to locations that you can bid on and at a, a really good price and you're still supporting the United Way. We'll have artwork, we'll have other items such as uh, like romantic weekends to various places, destination places and some local B&Bs and things of that nature. So uh, we've got national partners who have, who have partnered with local merchants providing these things. Uh, as I said, just we're so thankful to our, our uh, with our local support. We've got merchants that have stepped up and given us gift cards and various things, giving us the weekend stay at a hotel, uh, restaurant, uh, you know, great meals that are they're donating to us so we can turn around an auction. So all that, that 100 percent of that money comes back to the United Way and then immediately goes right into the community to support the various programs that we support. As we approach September 13th, people want to go to the United Ways Facebook page? We can go to actually to pretty much any of our social media uh, uh, locations and get information about the, the, um, the telethon, but the telethon itself will be on our Facebook. So it's the United Way, uh, United Way of Ross County. We have a, our social media page, our Facebook. You'll be able to tune in right in there. So if you're not already a friend to our United Way Facebook page, please do so. You can do it at the last minute, but we encourage you to do it before because lots of information will be shared, including information about the various artists who will be performing. And uh, the neat thing about that, because it's six hours, we've got that split up into various genres of music. Uh, so if you know you like country music or if you know you like R&B music, we'll, be able to, we'll promote the fact that you can tune in at, at a particular time and view the genre of music that you're, that you're passionate about, that, that's your preference. So uh, again, we, we're trying to think of all the things that people would just like to hear and like to see and, and include those into this fun-filled day. Jam packing it all into the six hours, and it will go by like that. I have a feeling. <laughs> well, to uh, to viewers, it may go by like that. But us behind the scenes, we'll we'll probably just be counting the moments because I've been involved in these types of things before, uh, and and they're always a challenge, but they're always come out well, and we're expecting this one really to come out well as well. Will you have opportunities for people uh, after the telethon? Well, absolutely, because this is just the kickoff of our 2020-21 campaign. Um, so while this, uh, the virtual telethon will kick us off literally with a bang, we'll be um, doing various things throughout the year, maybe some other virtual events or um, we'll do the virtual um, campaign, employee giving campaigns. Well, I or some of the other staff members will actually be doing presentations to various companies. We'll just use them through whatever video pl platform they have, it be it Zoom or, or GoToMeeting, whatever it is. So that will continue. Uh, but, you know, we wanted to really get off in, with, a, with a big way, in a big way, and this is, this is what we chose to do. Well, for many longtime folks around Chillicothe, you might remember some of the telethons on local cable. This is exciting because it's a new time, it's a new way, new technology, and uh, we're excited for you. Well, it is, and um, you know, f the fact that, we'll be, that we're able to do this and stream it out free for everyone to see, it's really exciting. And if I could, could I just name some of the, the talent that will be here uh, performing? Because we've got, as I said, local and national talent, and I want to make sure I'm reading these. I don't want to miss them because I'm very excited about it. But Dave Huffman, uh, Alexis Sierra, who is a dynamic singer out of Atlanta, uh, Asa Lovechild, who's out of New York City, Scott Butterball, Scott Collier, uh, local band Six to Noon, the BBJ Project, uh, and of course we already mentioned Lori Graves. She could do the show herself and everyone would tune in, but teaming up with Lori would be our national comedians like Michael Collier. Uh, if you don't know who Michael Collier is, I don't know who doesn't know who Michael Collier is because he's all over the place. One of the, the funniest people that I've ever uh, had an opportunity to meet and see, watch his movies and such. So we can't believe we're going to have Michael on, on our show. Uh, funny Bone comedian John Craig, and then this is, this is one of the things that I'm really excited about as well. We got a phone call last week um, because we've been promoting this heavily. Um, emailed one of my favorite artists, Cynthia St. James. And Miss St. James has been real supportive of all types of different causes, but a wonderful person. I've had the pleasure to meet her before. So I said, Miss St. James, can you support us in some way? So she agreed to do that. She's actually sending us three of her uh, signed prints, signed and numbered prints, 
that she's donating to us so we can auction those things off. These are very valuable paintings and prints that people will be able to bid on through the United Way of Ross County Telethon. Can you imagine that? One of the most renowned artists in the world is, is uh, very caring and going to donate those items to us to, to, uh, for us to be able to provide to the community. That, that's a wonderful thing. Absolutely fantastic. And I got a feeling between now and show day, there might be some other surprises that show up too. We are. So we'll probably announce some of those, but we've got some national acts that are really just kind of checking schedules and, and saying that if any way they if any way possible they'll be they'll be participating, as well as some other local acts. So um, we've got many local bands and local uh, musicians and singers who are just saying hey, they want to be a part of it. Uh, some of them are contacting us because they've heard about it. So it's not too late. So if someone wants to be a part of this thing, they can contact the United Way. And you know, if we've got space, we'll offer it because again, we want this just to be a fun, family-filled day um, featuring, of course, the local talent and the national talent, bringing them all together for, for just one great cause. Uh, the theme is United We All Win. So we're bringing the national talent and the local talent and United We Will All Win. Congratulations on making this happen and uh, we're, like I said, excited for you. Coming up on September 13th, that's when you want to check it out. Uh, make sure you become a fan of our friends at the United Way, Ross County. Uh, check their Facebook page and sign up because they'll probably have some appetizers right up to the, the telethon itself. Rick, thank you for your time today. Thank you. I appreciate your time, Dan.